Okay guys, so today I will show you how to create a button and a switch expanding on this joystick tutorial. So let's do it, like and subscribe. Okay, so this is similar to the joystick, my previous tutorial. It's an empty game object. I have the script and a rigid body on this empty game object and inside of it I have the, this is the capsule, the very thing you push. And there's a base, that's a cylinder. So on the capsule you need a collider that is trigger and on the empty game object you need to add the bottom control script which I created and you need to have a rigid body that is kinematic. So right here I have a spotlight just to turn something on and off and a reference to the button sound. So first we have an audio source and the button sound. I have a private bool for on and off and a button hit bool and a game object button. I also have the distance the button will travel downwards and the speed it will return. I also have the original Y position and a reference to the spotlight. Then we have a timer for when we can hit the button again. First of all add the audio source in the start function, get the button which is the first child of this empty game object, this one. So it needs to be on top in order for get child zero to work and then we get the original Y position and we disable the spotlight. Then whenever button hit is true we want to play the button sound. We turn button hit to false again and if on is false we turn it true, if on is true we turn it false. Then we change the position of the button, we move it down by the button down distance on the Y, just like this. Then if on is true, we enable the spotlight, otherwise we disable the spotlight. And outside this if statement, this is a separate if statement, we check if the Y position right now is lower than the original, that means the button has been pushed, so then we return it. And we have an onTriggerEnter method, where if a trigger that is player hand, and uh, the can hit timer is less than time dot time, then turn button hit to true. And if button hit is true, we fall in here and we do the whole thing. And that is everything for the button. So for the switch, it's the same thing. It's an empty game object with a child, which is the cylinder. And as a child of the cylinder, we have this cube. And the cube has the trigger. The empty game object has the rigid body and it has the script. Make sure the rigid body is kinematic and add the script. I have a reference to the spotlight and the sound. So same thing here. Add the audio source, we have the on, we have the switch hit. We have the rotation, which is how far the switch will rotate when we hit it. You can change this number, number if you need more or less rotation. We have the switch base and the spotlight. So add the audio source, get the switch base, which needs to be the first child of the empty game object. As you see here, we are getting the cylinder, which is the switch base. And we disable the spotlight in the start function. So if the switch hit is true, play the sound, turn switch hit to false. And if on is true, make it false and vice versa. If on is true, enable the spotlight and add switch rotation to the X axis. If on is false, do the opposite, subtract the switch rotation from the X axis. And lastly, we have an on trigger. This is, should be on trigger enter. On trigger stay works as well, but use on trigger enter. And if the trigger has the tag player hand, this will work. And you need to make sure that whatever you use as the trigger or your hand needs a trigger a collider that's trigger, a rigid body that is kinematic and it needs to have the tag player hand or whatever tag you choose to use in your script. Now you can use any interaction toolkit and just use these little trigger points 
at the tip of the fingers or wherever you want to use them. You can also deselect the renderer so they are invisible and just place them at the fingertips or wherever really. So if you have any questions or you don't understand, you have issues, please ask me in the comment section. Like and subscribe and have a good day guys.